you have four candidates from Ogun State. Why is it hard for one of you to step down for the other? Won't that share your votes? I mean, divide your votes? Well, it's not a question of dividing one's vote. Every man of vision and conviction pursues his conviction to his logical conclusion. The reason you bought the form is because you would like to contest. And uh, if I feel, um, yes, let the delegates judge, let them be the judge. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. All right, why is this so difficult to... Now that the northern governors have ceded power, that they're saying power must shift to the south, why is it difficult for the south, you know, as particularly southwest, to come together and pick one candidate? Why is that so difficult? It is not difficult, but nobody initiated it. I wasn't involved. They invited for meetings and uh, they spoke generally. Uh, be fair to each other, don't abuse one another. Nobody has asked me to step down for anybody. Okay, so if you're asked, would you do that? It depends on who. What do you mean it depends on who? It depends on if it is the party that is asking me or Mr. President. So if, if, if Mr. President asks you, will you step down? If the party asks you, will you say no? No, if the president and the party say step down, in the best interest of the party, the party supremacy is sacrosanct. I'll have to apply with that. So what do you make about the governors from the north? Badaru, Abubakar Badaru of, of Jigawa State has already stepped down. They asked their northern, northern aspirants to step down. Power should go to the north. What do you make of that? Power should go to the south. So, sorry, power should go to the south. And then what do you make of what transpired yesterday where it was said that, well, uh, the, the chairman of the party dropped a name of the Senate president and mentioned the president that he said it. But the NWC didn't agree with him. The governor had to hold a meeting and go to his house concerning that matter. I do not take my cue or my information from social media because it's all conflicting. And uh, for example, this morning, the chairman of the party said, anywhere I said so, produce a video. He denied it. So if I hold on to that, I'll be wasting my time. I wait for the officials of the party, or the party organ, to speak. Then we can listen. All right. You were the running mate to the current president sometime in 2015. 2011. 2011, sorry. This time around, he's not running. Has he in any way maybe uh, promised you anything in the event that you do not get this ticket? president does not talk carelessly. He's a man of few words and he's a man of his word. And whatever transpires between us is not for public consumption. Two friends, two brothers, is the big brother. We have had many, many talks about the progress of this nation, but he will not say a thing he cannot keep. He's a man of few words. He stands by what he has said. What he said to me is personal. And what he said to others may be personal. Time we tell. All right. In the event that a candidate is chosen, uh, well, either by consensus or direct primaries, do you see the party imploding if that doesn't happen? And then you are aware of what happened in a war on the state. You're a, you're a clergy in the church, in security. People were worshipping their God and they were attacked. What comments do you have about that? I'd already given a public statement and I'd called the governor to commiserate with him and to extend our love, our prayers to the victims. It's unfortunate. What happened in the mosque, what happened in the church will happen in the mosque. Let us first and foremost say somebody or an entity, a crime organ whatsoever, the trying to limit our freedom of assembly and our freedom of worship and must all rise to face it because it has happened in church now it will happen anywhere tomorrow so we must rise all of us those men who will go into church or mosque or marketplace to shoot people they live within the community we don't leave it alone to to just the military or to the armed forces we all must rise and give information on such people so that with intelligence we can track them down and bring them to book. Until we do that, God forbid, you myself can be the next victim. So government is doing its best. We must rise up and support the government. And you mentioned that if uh, 
somebody wins a ticket, there will be an implosion. There will be no implosion. The moment we have one candidate, we all rally around the candidate and make sure PDP does not come near us and take us back for the game.